Yeah, hi there, uh, Kaori. This is Michael. I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at Stealth, the seven-step system to pass the TOEFL IBT. And it looks like you completed my independent speaking practice test number one. All right, so uh, let's take a look at what the question is. You have described a place you visited as a child. What is your favorite memory while visiting that place? So let's hear what you have to say. Um, memory gives us happiness, sadness, and other kinds of feelings. At a meeting, there are tremendous numbers of places where I visited. I chose my grandmother's house as my memorable place. Okay, I think you want to say as my memorable place there, but... You're using a lot of background to get started with this speech, but this is a two-part question. You only have 45 seconds, so you probably want to get to your point a little bit faster than what you're doing. Firstly, near my grandmother's dwelling, there are beautiful mountains. I enjoyed climbing mountains with my friends. Secondly, watching fireworks from the house was also a precious memory. No, too many things. Be careful. You're not going to have enough time to develop these things. It says, describe a place you visited. What is your favorite memory while visiting this place? So your grandmother's house, one thing. Then describe it. And then talk about your favorite memory while being at your grandmother's house. I think you're doing too many things. You're not going to have enough time to support those ideas. I really enjoyed seeing fireworks and having delicious food with my grandmother. So climbing mountains, um, memory gives seeing fireworks, having delicious food, those are three specific memories. My advice would be talk about one of those things. So in the beginning of your speech, you need to describe your grandmother's house first. How big was her house? Uh, what color? Was it a two-story, one-story? Did she have a back and front yard? Was it surrounded by trees and grass? Was there a lake in the back? You have to do a little bit more of description, describing the house, and then say why I was there. My favorite memory is uh, when I saw fireworks, or my favorite memory was eating dinner with her, or my favorite memory was hiking or climbing in the mountains there. So uh, I think your speech could be better. Now let's take a look at the rubrics that the uh, TOEFL uses to score this particular practice test. Okay, I'm going to click on the rubrics right now. Okay, so topic development, you're going to have some problems, I'll be honest with you. So I'm going to put you in the low two area. Your response is very limited. You have very, very basic ideas. You're not really supporting your, your, your big ideas with details. And you talked about too many different memories without focusing on one specific memory. And you didn't really describe the house at all. So you have, you have very big weaknesses right now with your topic development. You want to make sure you address the task directly, explicitly, and limit your focus to the task, which you did not do. Okay, so your score here, Kaori, I'm going to put you at 2.0 out of 4, or 15 points out of 30 on this particular practice test. Uh, I'd recommend right now, in terms of lessons, uh, take a look at my speaking lesson number 2, and that will give you a good idea of how you want to develop your response for this kind of speaking task.